In the heart of the sprawling jungle, where the sunlight filtered through the dense canopy of leaves, there stood a majestic lion, his golden mane glinting in the dappled light. He was known throughout the land as the Lion King, ruler of all creatures within his domain. Beside him stood his young son, Prince Leo, his fur still soft and his mane just beginning to grow. Despite his youth, there was a spark of determination in his eyes, a reflection of the noble lineage he carried. As they overlooked their kingdom from the promontory of Pride Rock, the Lion King spoke to his son with a voice that resonated with authority and wisdom. Leo, my son, he said, his voice deep and rumbling like distant thunder. One day, all of this will be yours. You are the heir to the throne, destined to carry on the legacy of our pride. Prince Leo nodded solemnly, his gaze fixed on the vast expanse of the jungle below. He felt the weight of his father's words, the responsibility that came with being the future king. But beneath the surface of his solemnity, there stirred a restless energy, a longing to prove himself worthy of the title he would one day inherit. He yearned for adventure, for the chance to make his mark upon the world beyond the borders of their kingdom. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of crimson and gold, Prince Leo made a silent vow to himself to embark on a journey that would test his courage, his strength, and his heart. For he knew that to truly become the king he was meant to be, he must first discover the depths of his own bravery and wisdom. And thus, his quest began. Prince Leo's journey into the heart of the jungle was not merely a quest for adventure, it was a search for allies, for wisdom, and for the strength to protect his kingdom from the looming threat of the evil people who sought to harm it. With each step he took, the young prince found himself immersed in the vibrant tapestry of jungle life. He marveled at the intricate dance of the butterflies, the haunting melodies of the bird song, and the mighty roar of the waterfalls cascading down ancient cliffs. But amidst the beauty of the wilderness, there were dangers lurking in the shadows. Prince Leo encountered fierce predators prowling the undergrowth, their eyes gleaming with hunger and treacherous swamps that threatened to swallow him whole. Yet, with courage and determination as his guides, the prince pressed on, his senses keen and his spirit unyielding. And in the depths of the jungle, he discovered allies unlike any he had ever known. From the wise old elephant who shared tales of ancient battles fought and won, to the playful monkeys who taught him the art of agility and cunning, Prince Leo found strength in the unity of the jungle's inhabitants. Together, they journeyed deeper into the heart of the wilderness, their bond growing stronger with each passing day. And as they faced the trials and tribulations that lay ahead, Prince Leo knew that he was not alone, that he had found a family among the untamed beauty of the jungle, ready to stand by his side in the face of whatever challenges awaited them. As Prince Leo and his newfound allies ventured deeper into the heart of the jungle, they could sense the encroaching threat of the evil people growing ever nearer. Smoke billowed on the horizon, and the distant sounds of chainsaws echoed through the trees, a grim reminder of the destruction that awaited if they did not act swiftly. With a heavy heart and a fierce determination, burning in his chest, Prince Leo led his companions to the edge of their kingdom, where the invaders had set up camp, their machines churning and their axes poised to strike. The prince's muscles tensed as he surveyed the scene before him, his mind racing with thoughts of the kingdom he had sworn to protect. But he knew that this battle could not be won with strength alone, it would require cunning, strategy, and the unity of all who called the jungle their home. Gathering his allies around him, Prince Leo outlined his plan of plan to outwit the invaders, to strike swiftly and decisively, and to reclaim their land from those who sought to plunder it for their own greed. With the moon hanging high in the sky, casting its silvery light upon the battlefield below, Prince Leo and his companions launched their attack. They moved with the grace and agility of the jungle itself, striking from the shadows and disappearing before their enemies could react. The battle raged on through the night, the clash of steel and the roar of beasts echoing through the trees. But despite the odds stacked against them, Prince Leo and his allies fought with courage and determination, their spirits unbroken and their resolve unwavering. And when the first light of dawn broke upon the horizon, illuminating the battlefield in hues of gold and pink, it revealed a sight that filled the hearts of all who witnessed it with hope. The evil people, defeated and driven from their lands, their machines lying silent and broken amidst the ruins of their camp. With the threat vanquished and the jungle once more safe from harm, Prince Leo stood tall, his mane shimmering in the morning light. And as he surveyed the kingdom that he had fought so bravely to protect, he knew that he had proven himself worthy of the title he would one day inherit the Lion King, ruler of all he surveyed, and guardian of the wild.
show us some love and subscribe.